Here's something I haven't done on my channel in a while, custom map reviews, or at least gameplay. I think the last time I did a custom map uh, preview was the Nuketown map I did back in August, which was freaking ages ago. I don't know why, I just never really get involved with the whole custom maps thing and kind of reviewing them. Not really reviewing them, just kind of showing them off, just recommending some fun uh, custom maps you guys should try for a laugh if you're bored, or you know, whatever, anything like that. But um, I hope you enjoyed that little machinima kind of thing at the beginning. I did that in a Nuketown one as well. That was like more than six months ago. But and you guys kept saying that you wanted to see more of them, and uh, I I answered your questions just about eight months later. Sorry, I got caught up with stuff. But this map, the village of the dam. First, I'm gonna say what it is. It is a horde map. By that being. I mean, there's waves of zombies and just bad mobs coming at you, you kind of have to defend yourself and survive for as long as possible. Now, it's not kind of like a timed thing, like you don't have to get as long as possible and there isn't a record for how long you survive. There is a goal and that is to collect um, 20 bones, 20 gunpowder and 20 string, obviously from the mobs you kill. Well, that is if you play on normal. If you play on easy, you have to get 30 of each, but if you play on hard, you have to get 10 of each. Now, you might have been able to guess that you can't break blocks, However, you can get creepers to blow up an area, then you can pick up those blocks that the creeper blew up and then use them and craft them and whatever and to make tools and all that good stuff. And I think once you collected all of them, you put them in chests and, uh, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> I didn't actually uh, get to survive. Um, unfortunately, a skeleton shot me when I was on really low health. But you're supposed to put them all in chests and then it supposedly opens the door. don't really know how. I think you might need another person to open a switch or something. So uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it anyway because I think this map... Uh, would be better if at least or sh probably should be played with friends so I'd recommend this playing with friends but you know I don't really have any friends so I played this on my own hashtag forever alone but um no but I could imagine this playing this uh, a, a lot finally with your friends I didn't really realize that until I actually got into the game but you find chests and stuff scattered across the place and you kind of use those chests and ingredients to make tools and even potions and all that good stuff it's kind of like an Easter egg or a scavenger hunt thing and you just have to survive for as long as possible. It's quite fun. I think the storyline is, of course, it was a good village and then it kind of got taken over by a disease and then all the zombies and skeletons and all bad stuff took over the village. The map was also made by Lay's Tube. The channel link will be in the description below and also to the original video of his where you can, uh, it's also got the download link in, in the, uh, the description below. I'm not going to include the download link in this video because I want you guys to go check out his channel as well. Uh, he released it when he got 250 subs. He's now got 280, which is great. I think he did a good job on this. This was actually quite fun. I spent about 20 minutes playing it. It's really, really fun to see, you know, how long he can survive for. But uh, one thing that really did annoy me on this map was creepers, of course. Creepers were literally everywhere. It was like twice as common as all the other mobs. Literally, I'll come out of house, bam, creeper, bam, 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 blowing up after blowing up. But uh, I guess it can be helpful because they kill the mobs around you and then you can get their resources and, of course, use them to get further to the, to the win. I literally, I'd start sprinting, a creeper would blow up, and then I'd have to start running again, but before I could run, then another one would blow up. But uh, it's, it, it can be quite easy to survive those, though, because you do get chainmail armor at the beginning, and uh, there's gold armor scattered around the map. I think I only found hel the gold helmet and the gold chest plate before I died, unfortunately. But in the background now, of course, you're seeing the gameplay of me. Um, I'm cutting it up for different reasons. One, because I couldn't remember some of the rules, so I had to pause the video, or pause the game at least, and then check back on the previous recording to see what the rules were. And of course, of course, that I need to speed up a bit because this took about 15 to 20 minutes I can't remember exactly how long it took but it was a really really fun map I kind of used your knowledge of Minecraft and used to your kind of a uh, what do I say it really tests your limits and how you think and how you can uh, kind of scavenge the resources if you've got to make tools it makes you think of ways of how to get the tools and he's done a really, really good job on doing that. He kind of uh, setting up a like, kind of like hidden guide to creating the tools. It's really well done, and I think he did a good job there, Lay Shu. And also, I know this map is a little bit late. By that, I mean some uh, other YouTubers have done a map review on this like two weeks ago. But anyways, this is the map. If you guys would like to see more custom maps or whatever, this is just uh, something I'm trying new, something new I'm trying. If you guys would like to see more, then post a comment. Check this map out for yourself. It's pretty fun, especially with friends. Well, I wouldn't know that because I don't have any. Other than that, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Lemon out.